college. All right, I'm going to start. Okay. One of the most innovative thinkers of our time, Albert Einstein, believed that we shall require a substantially new manner of thinking if mankind is to survive. To create an efficient and sustainable future, it is imperative that people realize, recognize, and resolve wasteful practices that they engage in on a daily basis. This includes being aware being aware of personal energy impact in one's community and environment. However, there needs to be a voice to articulate and advocate uh, these awareness. Through education and outreach, we can enlighten, edify, and encourage our communities to conserve our planet's natural resources. Most importantly, education and outreach can help identify individual behavior changes so people can be more sustainable and efficient. In order to promote energy efficiency at West Los Angeles College, the Los Angeles Community College District and the Alliance to Save Energy partnered to bring the Green Campus program in fall 2009 to the West LA campus. The internship program has trained Eli Aquarian, Jessica Pineda, and James Turner and myself to be innovative thinkers and leaders in the energy efficiency field. We at West LA College uh, the West LA College Green Campus Program hope our efforts help to make um, help to make a connection between individual behavior and energy use and pave a way towards a more efficient future. Since the program was launched, the team has been engaging the community in order to identify and present simple ways students, facility, and administration can help save energy. This is why we decided to implement a multi-project approach in order to build awareness in the West LA community. At the West Los Angeles College Green Campus Program initiated a wide-reaching educational outreach campaign in order to engage all students, faculty, and administration on campus for the importance of saving energy. This outreach program was de designed to encourage behavior changes on campus that will lead to energy and water savings and are best encapsulated by the three projects our team, our, our team implemented. The first project we have is Hit the Switch. This project we designed and printed 500 light place stickers to remind people to turn off the lights when they leave the room. They were placed in bathrooms, hallways, and classrooms in the admissions, assessment, and library. Next, our next project that we used uh, was the lavatory learnings. <laughs> this is our spokes guy for lavatory learnings. Here, we printed out 100 copies of the educational flyers containing tips on how to conserve energy and water. We placed them in bathroom stalls all across campus in the most prominent areas. And then we had our mock energy bills. Well, for this project, there we, go. we worked very clo uh, closely with campus facilities to develop energy statistics regarding campus kilowatt hour consumption and cost. We printed two large banners which were hung on the most prominent buildings on campus, including the admissions office and the library, thereby educating people about the connection between their daily behavior and the use of energy on campus. These banners also included lists of tips that encourage people to change their behavior and save energy and water. These campaigns together are estimated to reach all 10,000 students attending West Los Angeles College and produce an estimated total energy saving of 273,750 kilowatt an hour if every student on campus uh, incorporates these ch uh, behavior changes. With all projects, we all face challenges and obstacles. But we remain diligent and found some solutions to these issues. With Hit the Switch, overdependence on technology for sustainability was one of our major obstacles that we had to overcome. Campus facility initially expressed concern about this project as they believed that the automated lighting sensors that were installed in many of the buildings would negate the energy savings of this project. However, Upon closer inspection, many lights, many light switches, particularly in the older buildings, 
are not connected to the automated system. Additionally, hitting the switch still provides energy savings for the lights on the sensor system since there is always a delay between when an occupant is leaving a room and when the sensors react. Instilling this energy saving behavior will also have beneficial impacts beyond the campus as people take this behavior change into other aspects of their lives, benefiting the environment as a whole. One of the obstacles that we had to face with mock energy bills was uh, helping people understand energy terminology. Because many people are unfamiliar with energy units like kilowatts and kilowatt hours, the Green Campus Program uh, tried to make this information relevant by putting the campus annual energy use into units of measurements they would be able to understand. By presenting this information on the campus, students and faculty can fully comprehend the energy impact they have on campus. And finally, with the laboratory learnings, we had a couple issues with defacement. Random acts of vandalism sometimes, people drew or defaced or tore the sheets off the walls and, or in the stalls, uh, for whatever reason. Because the material used was very inexpensive, we were, uh, all we needed to do was monitor and maintain these educational flyers in these selected areas and replenish them when needed. Now here are a picture of some of the uh, projects in action. Here we have our mock energy bill. This is placed right outside our admissions building. Then we have the laboratory learnings in the bathroom walls where you wash your hands. You can't miss it if you wash your hands. <laughs> and some of the light switches in the assessment center where we place hit the switch. With all projects, we all learn very important lessons. We learn some key concepts going through these projects. We learn that proliferation is key. The more, uh, the more information dispersed, the better. I suggest bombard them with as much information as you possibly can. <laughs> Maintenance can increase effectiveness, and open communication is essential. All you need to do is get in touch with the important figures in your faculty, administration, and facilities on campus, and you shouldn't have a problem do, um, implementing any of these projects. Metrics, the fun part. Assuming everyone at West LA hits the switch as a result of our campaign and turns off a 75 watt bulb for one hour per day for one year could lead to a 273,750 kilowatt hour of potential energy savings annually. At an estimated kilowatt hour rate of 8 cents per kilowatt hour, all right, per kilowatt hour could lead to approximately $22,000 in energy savings overall, either on campus or in the community. Because, because we place the materials in, the, uh, in facilities that every student at West LA would use at some point of the day, we are estimating to reach all 10,000 students, including faculty and administration on campus and at home. On that note, the overall campaign was designed to target every student in uh, in different locations on campus. The locations have the highest volume of students on campus because every student requires requires the restroom, the assessment center, the admissions building, or even the library. While on campus each day, making the information accessible and incredibly visible, we are able to reach all 10,000 students on campus. Most of the marking material presented is fairly economical and can reach a wide proportion of, stu of the student population on campus, thus making this project highly ref uh, <laughs> uh These campaigns are also targeted <laughs> uh, for all members on campus, uh, on the campus community, in a distinct and ever-present way, on light switches, in classrooms, offices, and other uh, public facilities or even just by walking uh, by other buildings. Together with the campaign encourages a full range of behavior modifications that any student or faculty member can apply into their daily lives. At West Los Angeles campus, and perhaps the entire co college community system, a large infusion of energy efficiency information has never been implemented. Now, Mahatma Gandhi believed that you are the change you wish to see in the world. 
With this in mind, motivated students or staff can participate and distribute these energy efficiency tips, making this project highly replicable, efficient, and relevant. Not just at the community college level either. The combined efforts of these educational outreach will persuade individuals to take at least some of the appropriate actions that we have identified. By enlightening the community with the knowledge, we hope to change the future for the best and help our campus go west to go green. Thank you very much.